Well, it's important if, if you're going to progress any field or any technology, that can only happen, excuse me, if you have like um, uh, uh, communication that's across. One of the things you find out is that, um, is that you know, I've worked in a lot of spaces, right? So one of the spaces I work on is like data analytics, okay? So, so what you'll do is there's a whole bunch of data analytics companies, huge numbers, okay? Um, and some are very good and some are not so good. Um, but it ends up being a big morass because they don't, in that more general space of data analytics, there isn't um, enough communication that goes across. So there's nothing that sort of, sort of um, people can really see what's really good and what's really not, not quite so good, right? So, but also the companies that are doing weaker, they, should, um, they can then learn from the other ones, right? And then the, the ones that know a lot can learn from the other ones. And, and I've worked a lot with like, companies, big and small, and what you'll find out is that um, the best small companies will have like some expertise, but there's no way their expertise is in everything, right? It's not possible. You know, you got one driving thing, right? So, but to be a success, to really push a technology for it, it's not, a technology is not being really good at one thing. A technology typically is you need to be, to really be effective, you either need to be really good at a bunch of things, or you need to have like some really killer thing and be adequate at a bunch of things. <laughs> but if you're bad at certain other things, that kills your whole technology. So, uh, and so you're only going to be able to, to do that if you can really have you know, direct head-to-head -head comparisons and, and, and communications. So.